Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Grand Spartan, welcome back. Gonna get back to it today. Took a little short break from the game. We just started our uh, The Forest series. Should be a lot of fun. I encourage you to check that out, especially if you've never heard of the game before or never seen it. It's uh, kind of similar to Seven Days to Die, another survival game. I enjoy the uh, survival style games. I'm going to have some fun with that, but uh, it was a couple episodes ahead on this game, so I thought, why not uh, give it a shot? Throw some things in here. Uh, boy, I'm sort of lost as to what I was doing. Oh, bandages. Yes, I will have some, please. So we should have enough bandages to last us for a long time. My goodness, we may have made too many bandages. Where am I going to put them all? Let's stick some in here. The Bandage Bandit. Okay, this is all topped off, so we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, bars. I remembered I needed bars. Okay, our wood. Go ahead and put a little bit more wood in there. Like so. Get this going again, this little brass collection. Lead is easy to come by, you know, you find lead mining and you get so much of it at one time. We may need to cut some more wood here pretty soon. I don't know how much longer we can go without doing that. So it looks like I have not topped these off in quite some time. And they are running low. Running low. I'll we'll go ahead and take this stuff out, I guess. 26,000 stone in that one. So let's may as well go ahead and pump that out. 5k. Let's do a sort and see what we have here. One, two, three, four thousand. Almost five. Make sure we have enough sand for that. Yeah, just enough. Ooh, that's full. It's nice. Nice. Dump our stone off in here. Have lots of stone. I have tunnels and trenches all over this place now. <laughs> all the mining I've done just to get some stone, a little bit of iron. All right, there's nothing in there, there's nothing in there. Kind of don't even know why we have two of those. But it is not nighttime. It's not 2200 yet, so we do we will be able to go over to the new build and get some work done. Uh, but I need to get some bars created here. How many could we make? 89? Uh, we're not going to need that many. Let's make uh, 40. We'll make 40. Uh, 10 minutes, so we're going to have to come back for that. Let's stick our 762 rounds in here. Don't need those. A little collection of those going on and some shotgun shells. Let's go ahead and cap off on shotgun shells. Maybe even get our shotgun repaired. Back on our belt. Uh, let's uh, take a bite of some meat stew. Ooh, we were actually pretty low on food and water. Let us top that off and we will be on our way. So I don't think I need to grow any more aloe. I think... Uh, I think I'm all aloed out here. 
Yeah, we're growing some too. We have a whole other crop of aloe ready to go here soon. So if any of you need some bandages, just check in with me. Oh. Time to uh, maybe get out of here. All the cops, the zombies. Mm. Gotta get out of there. All right, back at the build. Now, let's get our rebar. And a little bit of concrete mix. Well, we are running low on that. I meant to bring that uh, back over here, what was in the concrete mixer. And I did not. We have our frames here. Yeah, I better not do that. I better put the frames or the rebar on there instead. Oh my goodness. He was... Oh, there's a dog. His reflexes, though. Oh, I gotta get used to playing this again. Playing the forest, and it moves so much faster, the uh, controls, than this game. I. All over the place. Well, hopefully if we take out these few zombies that are wandering around, it won't be as tough on us at night time uh, when time comes. Oh, yeah, yeah, spikes. We need lots of spikes. Mmm, boy. Let's see here. And then we need a lot of spikes. My goodness. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that many spikes um, for a long time. Uh, we may have to mine for some more iron or spit some iron out of the forge, some scrap iron. Uh, so let's see. Let me break out the old calculator. Let's see about what we're going to need here for this. Well, I thought I had a calculator on the phone. There it is. So roughly... I don't know, roughly 320, probably a little bit more than that, honestly. I don't know, maybe I estimated high. Whew. All right, well, we may as well go ahead and get some of those started. I'm going to do the above ground defense last because I don't want the zombies trampling all over our defenses and uh, having us constantly repairing them. Boy, I'm going to have to fight these things off again when I come over here. Look at this. Oh, there's that green thing right there. Well, that's grass. That's not the green wall of death. I thought it was one of those green curtains of death. Crow and I are... Uh, Pronto and I were just talking about that. He got himself a, uh, built himself a new computer as well. And we are talking about whether or not we had seen that green wall of death. And I have not seen it yet since uh, the new computer has been built. Tell you what, let's kill her off. Oh, she had shotgun shells. Hey, come here, lady. Did 
you have shotgun shells? You do, sir. Thank you. So it's a it's an early morning recording for me. Just woke up and I said, you know, let's get some seven days to die done early today. Take your treasure map. Oh, there's a screamer. Son of a gun. All right, we got to get in here and get out. That's just all there is to it. Otherwise, we're going to be... Oh, there it is right there. There's the curtain of death. So, uh, Pronto, if you're watching this, there it is, sir. It's always in the garden area, for whatever reason. It's always in the garden area. Once you put down the frames, it's gone, you know? I don't know what, uh, what that is. You know, this is going to bother me. It's been that way for so long, and I think about it every time I go by. So, you know, it looks awful. There's another one out by the gate. So, scrap iron. Bye-bye, <laughs> scrap iron. How many spikes can we make? We can make 348. Oh, it's only going to take 11 minutes to make those. Oh, that's not so bad. Uh, and then we're going to need all the rest of this stuff to uh, upgrade. And a decent collection of steel. We're going to need a lot more scrap iron to go along with that steel. Well, she died on impact. It was a painless death, ma'am. You should thank me for that. Let's uh, throw some of this stuff away, not away, but in the proper locations. Oh, uh, we can stick our shotgun in our hoard chest. Let's see, when was the last hoard? Um, was it just two days ago? Is it 2.03? So we still have a lot of time left before the next horde. Nice, nice. So I was just getting ready to think, where are we going to take this next horde on? But we don't have to worry about that for at least a little while. While we're here, we're going to grab up our bars, take those over there with us, do a sort. We're going to grab the rest of this cement. Not quite a full stack yet, but we'll take it. We shall take it. How many bars do we have? 36. That should be enough. Let's make sure she didn't... Oh, there she goes. She fell in there. I was going to make sure she didn't fall into my... Uh, Base. Well, it's almost 2200 now, uh, and I did not start my timer again, Spartan. I guess I'm going to guess that we've been going for about at least 10 minutes. There we go. Mr. Forgetful over here. So let's get on in here. Uh, today, what we most likely need to work on is going to be getting our entrance built for this uh, beast of a base. And I had an idea for it, but the uh, problem is depth. At this point, uh, it's another thing I should have done while I was over there is get a drawbridge going. I think I want to do it on this side. Um, I'm going to have to figure a few things out in order to get that to work. I wish I would have made one. And you know what? We, we're going to do that. We're going to do that since the base is so close. We're going to go ahead and get a drawbridge going. Make sure I have all the stuff to make a drawbridge. That would be the next thing. If not, that'll give me a direction to move towards here. We can collect a few things. I'm trying to fight some zombies off again. I guess I could just jump across the top real fast. 
Let's jump it with the mini bike. I don't think that's going to work. All right, Spartan. Get your jump on. Oh, man. Makes me nervous. Okay, uh, drawbridge. I know we need mechanical parts. So, boom. And that's it. That's all I know. I should know that by now. How am I already down to 10%? 8%? It's because I'm overheating? Is that what it is? Forged iron, wood, and springs. 20 springs. All right, let's make two in case I screw up the first one because that is a very, it's very possible that I could mess up that first one. We're going to put all of our stuff back in here that we do not need. Take out the remaining first aid bandages. Stick those in here. Have bandages to last us for three apocalypse. Okay, um, so the drawbridges, we'll get those going. That's going to be about uh, six, seven minutes to make one of those. But I wanted to go ahead and get it going. Now let's take a look at this. Uh, let me guess. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five long and it is four wide. So when we close it, we're going to have to have a gap. And you're going to have to help me remember this. Oh, that took damage. So when we make the opening, it has to be one, two, three, four, five, six tall. And one, two, three, four, five, six wide. So that's easy enough to remember. One, two, three, four, five, six tall. And one, two, three, four, five, six wide. Six tall, six wide. The aloe is almost ready to pick. We certainly don't need any more of that. So six by six is going to have to be the frame, the opening for the drawbridge. That's going to be our. Uh, that's going to be our entrance to our base here. So we'll park the bike on the uh, actual concrete. Well, does she not follow me? Okay. Thought I saw a zombie over there. That's a cop. No. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, these early morning recordings. So let me clear this out of the way here. Making plenty of spikes. How much are we up to? 216. Well, we could go down and go ahead and start placing those uh, pretty soon. Let's, let's get down in here and get some uh, work done before we run out of time on the episode. So all of this is upgraded. We get this upgraded to steel. We'll be in good shape. Let's take a look at the map. So this is the side over here that I wanted to make the entrance. Okay. It looks like we were in the center. Well, I didn't fill those in, I guess. It only make oh, sense to fill those in. Um, so right here would be... Let's take a look at that. This would actually be... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five. This would actually be the center right here, this uh, this one. So let's do it.
So this is another reason that I did everything in solid concrete uh, everywhere I could because I didn't know for certain where I was going to be doing some tunneling. So there's going to be a lot of concrete here. We're not going to do all of this concrete. I'm going to make an opening here and then we're going to be tunneling down at an angle because uh, we are at minus 27 and I need to get a lot lower than that. Oh, I'm thirsting to death. Son of a gun, Spartan. I saw that I was low in... I did nothing about it. I won't blame that on you all because I saw it. I did absolutely nothing. To remedy the situation, I can't believe I ran out of, uh, my thirst went down so fast. You know, we're going to get some points to that now. I'm not too concerned about my wellness. That's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Wellness is fine. We just need to prevent ourselves from getting uh, thirsty so fast. That's what we need to do. All of our spikes are almost done. Let's take a look at the points here. Survival. A camel. I have no points in the camel. Is he coming this way? Oh, he is coming this way. Oh, there are more coming this way. Oh, there are a lot more coming this way. Bring it on! Zombies! Oh no. Oh no. What are you gonna do, huh? You gonna eat it? Mm-hmm. You certainly are. Stick that in there. You can always use the ammo. Gonna be holding on to that nine mil ammo before too long because uh that auto turret. Gonna be going through the ammo. All right, need to clear some of these bodies out at some point too. So our thirst has been quenched. Let's uh, get back in here and think about how we're gonna do this. Oh, and I meant to check. So, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we need to get these spikes down below. Oh, that's feral. I thought I heard the pitter patter of little footsteps. I'm probably just gonna doom myself by using this shotgun. Let's use a first aid kit. And get ourselves up 100% here. So this looks like it's going to be a little bit of a drawn out fight. Come on, stamina. Hold up for me just a little while here. Oh, there's a cop. Really? All I want to do is build. All I want to do is zoom a zoom 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 and a boom boom. Did I even hit that cop? I really hope they increase the damage of the shotgun. <laughs> it's a uh, it's pretty awful bit of damage there. You know, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to repair this uh, concrete or this uh, asphalt out here at some point. 
going to have to make some. I think I need to let them get a little bit closer to me before I start shooting them. That's right, hit your buddy. Mm-hmm. Trouble for you now, Mr. Farrell. Turns you to mush. Get nothing on him. Oh, son of a gun, Spartan. Mm, we were pretty low. All those bandages. And I'm not going to have enough to get full on health. <laughs> what? I only brought one little stack. That was kind of the whole purpose of making those. Well, take a look at a couple of these bodies. Lots of sham sandwiches and pills. Okay, now, back to what we were doing before all of that. Now, there's always that, at least once or twice an episode, we always have that. Uh, you know, since we have them, before I get to digging, because we're going to draw some attention over here to ourselves. Very, very soon. Oh, yeah, then we could fix this, too. I meant to fix this. Go ahead and get this in place that way. It can be drying. We have to do that all the way around. So uh, let's take off the bandages, stick on the log spike ruskies. Ah, oh, 4 a.m. The soothing sounds of 4 a.m. Concentrate here so I don't put some of these in the wrong place on top of each other or something silly like that. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take several stacks, 5,000 stacks of scrap iron to get these up to the next level. Now, we're not going to do these. Uh, we're not going to upgrade these into steel. Uh, and that may be my undoing. That may actually mess us up in the long run. You know, I may pay for that, but uh, I'm not going to waste the resources to upgrade those to steel when that's really just a secondary defense. This is not our primary defense, so I didn't see a need to uh, waste all the resources. Need to get back up top, too, and defend this place so it doesn't get beat up too bad I can hear a zombie up there right now we didn't do any of these I thought we did most of these in one of the episodes uh... But it is all coming together now. I feel a lot better. Uh, if there will be an experimental, usually a week or two before the full version comes out, when you have those experimentals. And that has not dropped yet. So, uh, you know, we're still good on time. It'll be a little while before 16 is released. So we still have plenty of time to not only build this, but to test it out. Maybe a time or two tweak some things because I'm not really sure 
the funnel system is going to work quite yet with Alpha 15. I don't know if I've done a, a funnel build on Alpha 15. I know we we toyed around with a couple on Alpha 14. We certainly did them on 13. But I don't know if I've done one on uh, Alpha 15 to see that they work like they used to. I uh, was just talking to Crow and Pronto last night and they were reading something off the forum that uh, breadcrumbs not gonna make it into Alpha 16 original release the 16 one at least so perhaps uh, post that maybe 16 two or four or something you know they'll release the breadcrumb I was kind of looking forward to that Do the same thing here. It's just going to give us a little sturdy, oh, a sturdy barrier uh, to prevent them from going to the side when they're down here. In case you know I'm in the center, they have a tendency to sort of beat on something in the general direction of where you're standing. I mean, even thought about doing these pillars, you know, so we could come into the corners, but we're not going to need to do that. That's uh, that's just adding more work. Oh, we haven't upgraded all of these to uh, reinforced concrete yet. Hmm. Let's, uh... I don't know why we stopped with that. We must have just run out of concrete and that did not come back down. We ran ourselves out of concrete. Do we have? Oh, yeah, we have plenty of it on us. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade these pillars to steel. I think we're just going to leave these reinforced concrete. Could get a little tricky if we're not down here and there's a cop or a feral or something beating here uh, on us. It's been upgraded. Let's get our spikes back out. And in place. It's such a tedious thing here. One, two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> And once we do it one time, hopefully we just have to replace one here or there. We have to come back through here with some scrap iron. Get some serious uh, upgrading done. Fortunately, it's just a clickety click, 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 and it's done. But, what? Oh, it's going to be a lot of scrap iron. I have plenty of steel for up top. You know, that's... Uh, this is the only way I could think to do on Alpha 15 a funnel build. If we put a wall with the damage that the cops and the ferals and uh, especially with our increased horde. If it were just 8 per wave, yeah, we wouldn't even need this. I'd just stick up some concrete or steel walls or something uh, and it'd be fine. But uh, they do so much damage now and we have 35 per wave uh, at least that unless I decide to bump it back up to the 55. Uh, and then uh, they're just going to tear through a wall. They're all going to stand there. So this is the only way I can think of on Alpha 15 to do a funnel build. The funnel build is really popular. I know most of you probably haven't seen that funnel build. Uh, but I did get a lot of positive responses and a lot of people wanting to mimic that particular build. And uh, it looks cool, it does, but just on the more modern, uh, and it may still work on console, I don't know, but it uh, doesn't really work now on Alpha 15 with the uh, cop damage being so high. The melee damage is just through the roof now. 
ferals and all of them. They attack so quickly. And we could probably manage with eight per wave. We could manage. Uh, you all saw how weak that was, the default setting uh, when we tried it the uh, other day. All right, so this one stopped here too. I must have realized that, oh, the horde's coming. We need to get out of here, and I just completely stopped in the middle of what I was doing because we left a lot of things undone down here. All right. Beautiful. Well, that is that. This little tunnel here, we could always trench that out and get it nice and uh, pretty. We'll do that last. We'll worry about that last. Right now, I want to go up here and inspect these noises that I'm hearing. Oh, there are a lot of zombies out and about. Look at all of those zombies. Cops standing right there. As long as they're not beating on the structure. Not too concerned about them. Um, I could go out there and kill them all off. I better do that. Because it's like I said. If I don't. What? We're going to run into the issue of. Uh, while we're building they're going to be the screamers are going to be coming with us using the auger here in a moment oh cop oh, standing on that wooden frame too that would not be a good way to go Hey, at least we have an auger on us this time, though. If we were to fall down into that pit, we could dig our way out. Oh, oh. Did you do it? Stop it. Oh, my goodness. It's just coming from all directions. Down to 60 health again. Ugh. Oh. oh, broken leg. You knew I couldn't make it through an episode without a broken leg. Mr. Crawley down there decided, oh, hey, look, he hasn't broken his leg yet. Let's fix that. Dude's doing a cartwheel back there trying to show off his flexibility and agility, I guess. He's wanting to show off for the camera. I mean, they just keep coming and coming. Look at this, two cops. Coppa. Don't come over here. Don't be destroying my uh, base. That's right, shoot each other. Uh, I'm gonna knock your projectile back into you. Big guy right there, I'm a little concerned about him. Uh, I think because the game stages now haven't died in a while or ramped up. It's, uh, I'm taking a lot more damage from everything. It feels that way. I don't know if that's true, but it just... Feels like I'm taking a lot more damage than I was before from the cop's uh, projectile. Don't you spit again. I'm tired of you spitting at me. Oh, that's not good. Down in a hole. Ooh. We're going to have to fix that back. I guess that's not so important, but that's why I brought them over here. So if they did do that. Yeah, we better take that trophy as much as I get tired of collecting brass and all the random items. That's something we're going to need. Okay, sounds like a dying cow over there. <laughs> Make sure our 
storage chest are all repaired up and use this splint that I held on to. Good thing I did. Maybe take a sip of water. Or use another bandage. Nah, we'll hold on to that one just in case a dog comes along like I'm sure it will. Now, what is this iron right here? What is that? Why is there iron right there? What got destroyed? If they destroyed a light, I'm going to be very upset with them. Well, uh, I don't see why we won't just open this up for business. Let's see if I can prevent falling into it. can't forget that though and come running out here and just run down into the hole it's like I said at least though I do have an auger now I can dig my way out if I must still gotta figure out something cool to do with the interior portion uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet I may do something with it but I, the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to stand over here in these corners and draw them into the pit because I don't really want them to go down into the pit. You know, it's a, it's a deterrent. It's not a defense. So if I build anything on the corners, it would most likely just be something for looks and not for uh, functionality. Finally opening this thing up for business, at least this portion of it. Won't be long. We'll have it all finished up and nice looking. I get the defenses in uh, place because I know some of you are still probably wondering how in the world is this thing going to even work. I can see how they die in a pit, but what's that thing in the center that he has? How is that going to kill a zombie? We shall see soon enough, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a lot of wooden frames here. To pick all of this up. But this is going to help us. Uh, so that while we're down in here working. We're not having to worry about them. Uh, beating on the corners. The corners are pretty vulnerable. And uh, it was not my intention to have them. Uh, beat on those corners. Hope you all have enjoyed this build and the snowfall build here on Alpha 15. I certainly never anticipated or imagined that I would be uh, on day 206 on a Let's Play series. I never imagined that. Uh, we've covered the better part of an hour each day. You all out of 206 days have only missed about six days worth of content. And that was mostly mining or trenching something out. I think those are the only things that I didn't document. And we even mined, uh, we documented most of the mining, but you have not missed a whole lot of uh, footage here since we started on day 200. I, I guess, you know, you've missed five or six days worth of footage at the most since the very beginning. Uh, but uh, tried to at least keep it in there and just fast forward it whether you skip through it or not it's been a lot of fun certainly uh, motivated and inspired me to uh, continue on with it and do it all over again on Alpha 16 but bigger and better still working on that <laughs> but we will we'll continue it on we'll try some of the new features and Alpha 16 and implement them into our builds. Alright, well. Pit is now open for business. Ooh. Forgot to do that. Let's see if I can crouch. Get down here and fix this up. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, we don't want the corners to be vulnerable. That airdrop just fell right there. Where is that at? Let's uh, go check that out. Get distracted again. <laughs> but let's go check it out. Hey, our trees behind the base should be close to fully grown if they're not already. Yeah, look at that. All of the trees back there. Fully grown. I think we planted a good amount of trees too. So at some point if we were to need wood... There's a house over here that I've never visited, nor will I. But uh, all of the trees over here, remember at some point, I think it was on a time lapse, we planted all of these trees. That's a pretty decent amount of trees over here. We had pretty much cut all the other trees, and I thought, well, let me repopulate, replant. So that is that. That's what our build's looking like over here from the hill. Looks kind of cool from up here. I think that looks kind of cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's head back over here. That concrete has been wet for a long time right there. I don't know what's up with that. Throw out the snow. Let's see how he reacts to this pit if we go in the center. Because he sees me, most likely. You know, he sees me. Let's see if he'll come over here and do what I hope that he will do. Oh, he just fell into the pit. Son of a gun. That might not be a good sign that he did that. Let's just hope that was a fluke. Can we do this now? We're aiming the right way. We want to come out over here with it. But we need to go down. So long to dig down through this reinforced concrete. Fortunately, we don't have much more to go. So, I want to come out pretty low on this. Uh... Hmm. It's going to be another one of those attract the zombies to the door kind of things. Kind of like in our hub city base, they always go for where the door is located. I'm not gonna. I hope that doesn't work out like that. I certainly don't want to have to build my way into this base each and every time I try to get in here. You know, I want to make it so that it's easy to 
to get in and out of. Let's see how far down are we now? We are at minus 32. That's five lower. Let's go seven lower just to be safe. Well, let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, six by six is gonna be the opening. And it was minus 27 in there. It was minus 24 on the surface. Somewhere right through here should be good. Let's just try this. We're down one more now. Let's put a piece of rebar here and go with 30. It's 32. Let's go right here. It says 31. All right, 31 is good. Expecting uh, screamer ladies to come about at any point. Okay, so that's our pit. That's the concrete. Oh no, that's just surface area. I got it. I see. I see. So we're gonna need to go a little deeper than this. Wait a minute now. You know what? I don't know what I was thinking. We're going to be good on this. This is going to be perfect. I, I was... Nah, I'm not even going to tell you what I was thinking. Um, so this is the end of the build right here. Then... Yeah, we actually do want to put it out here then. That's that's good. Uh, so we need to dig this out. I was right with going down deeper uh, over there. So that's the surface right there. Poke our heads up here and take a look. We are not dead center of the build, are we? Yes, we are, okay. there are no zombies wandering around and I'll just leave this open for now uh, so this opening here would need to be it, it's gonna be it's gonna suck because it's gonna look bad because this silly drawbridge you can't choose the size of it and it's an uh, even number and all of our builds are odd number builds uh, but uh, it just is what it is Let's go down deeper though. Let's go maybe maybe that's going to be good. We're going to do things a little differently. <clears throat> so I was counting out that 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 six tall. We're not going to need that. Uh Whatever reason, I'll tell you what I was thinking is that I was going to come out into the pit area and have to do it like we did the free fall pit, but the pit only goes around the portions that we're not using. So I don't know what I was thinking that coming from the center. Uh, this will be perfect too because if they are in fact attracted to the door like we believe that they are, uh, like the Hub City base and they always fall in the side that has the door they're trying to get into. Uh, then this would be dead center of the ramp. So they're going to be coming over here. Uh, 
uh, to this side and trying to get into the door, but they're going to see me standing up there in the center, and I hope it works that way at least. Okay. Let's get you repaired. I may even finish this off off uh, camera if I can't get it done here soon, you know, get a little closer. So we're going to put ramps right here. Do we have any ramps on us? Yes, we do. Like a so. And before I nail anything down, we're going to make sure that everything is just right. Okay, and then we'll make all of this concrete as well. Make sure it's all reinforced concrete. Probably take this floor out. So, uh, we can ride over and get our oh. tumble down. Why is it not? Uh, look at that. We can't place it there. That's odd. We can place it there now. What happens if we remove this one? No, it stays. Well, how about if we remove this one? Still stays. That's odd. Okay, so uh, four. We'll just put it off center this way. I don't think it's really going to matter, I guess. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter which way we go. This is center. We'll have to offset it one way or the other. So there's our four wide. Oh, this is going to work out really nice. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking about. Uh, I was honestly, I was... Just about to go to sleep last night when I was thinking about this, and for whatever reason, I thought I was going to come out into the pit area from underneath. It was never the plan, but I just I was just thinking that. I was thinking, well, we'll have to take a look at the Hub City base and figure out how tall and how wide and all of that, and you know, drive across the pit, and then they're going to be attracted to that. Well, this is much much better. So if they're attracted to this. Then they're going to come straight up because they're going to see me in the center there when they run this way. Perfect. Okay. Then... Something like this. We have to build a frame to put it all on. Something like that. Nice. And we'll dig it out one more down. And no screamers yet. They're probably coming in at any time now. At any point in time, they'll be here. 
we'll have to build a let's go ahead and dig this out over here too with all of the clicking we've been doing on this uh, auger I have to imagine something like that and the same over here Sometimes it's a little deceiving when you're digging like that. It looks like you've dug something out, but you haven't. The dirt, it all sort of runs together. All right. Nice. Well, I'm excited now. It's uh, it's not as worrisome as uh, it was before, thinking the way I was going to have to do it was going to give me a weak spot on the base. It thinks. Sorry, I'm just sort of zoned out thinking about what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get this right first time around so we don't have to all around with it too much. We can just do it and it's done. We we'll have our entrance to gain access to our handy dandy horde grinding zombie destroying base. Okay, and this is one, two, three, four, five, and this would be six. So if I am right, let's drive over and I'm running out of time here. I think we're already over time, but let me run over here. I need to fix this. Just to remind me, I'm going to stick that there now. Uh, let's run over and grab the... That concrete still isn't dry over here. There's something wrong with that. This this is uh, not normal. If that ever happens to you, just replace it. Uh, there's something wrong with it. Sometimes you'll get a little glitch there where concrete will not dry or refuse to dry and it has uh, half the hit points as it should. It's quiet over here. See, for whatever reason in my mind, I had this hub city base thinking that it was going to have to be like that uh, with the free fall pit entrance. Uh, let's grab, let's go ahead and grab both of them. I'll grab that too. Uh, bars, last four of those. Let's go ahead and cap this uh, iron off so it's not just pointlessly burning for whatever reason I can't uh, mouse over the storage what's up with that oh, stick this in here I don't know if you can if you notice that on my screen though I have a hard time mousing over the uh, storage containers it's a little odd that's not a bad sign something 
So that is all capped off. Look at how far back I have to stand in order to mouse over those. Maybe a little game restart will fix that. Let's just stick our stone and sand in here. Fragment, snowball, throw out. Let's eat. So that we need to eat. Yeah, we could eat one more time. Is that our last meat stew? That's our last meat stew. So we're going to have to get to cooking some more meat stew. And it's almost 2200 again. So I've certainly run over my time for today, but uh, we got, you know, a lot done. Uh, what I was hoping to get done in this episode, just making that entrance. I wanted to make sure we get this, uh, all the spikes in place this episode for the pit. Get it open and then get the uh, mini bike entrance at least started, you know, I knew I probably would not finish this mini bike entrance, but I wanted to get it started. So, drawbridge, it's gonna sit right there, like that. Hmm, maybe even a little lower than that, or a little higher than that, I'm sorry. I don't know exactly how that's, why it's looking the way it's looking. Let's let's do this and see. I remember I ran into this issue at the barbed wire base. And I don't remember what I did to rectify the situation. It was something like that. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out, but uh, that's good, though. That's that's what we're looking for. It's going to give us our way in and out easily. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching yet another episode. Good times. A lot accomplished today. We're all ready to prevent them from getting to the corners. But I hope you all have yourselves a, a good day, good evening. And I'll see you all tomorrow.